Hey y'all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar in Trenton, whether you would like to believe it or not, Christmas is right around the corner. This comes faster and faster and faster as my years go by, Christmas. And you know, you know your mom, she is the queen of Christmas. It's already decorated. It's, it was decorated before Thanksgiving. It was decorated probably a week or two before Thanksgiving. It's hard for me to measure up. I mean, I, I try, I do, but you know, your mom's elite when okay. it comes to uh, Christmas. We haven't decorated for Christmas in two or three years, mostly because <laughs> all of our stuff is in storage and I just don't have enough time to actually go out and we got like nine different storage units. I can't keep track of it all. <laughs> uh, but since it's getting to be that time, I love Christmas. Yes. Not not because it's all like right. it's it's like family and then mm -hmm. whatnot and then mm -hmm. like the you know, you go outside and it's all snowy and it's like, it just seems like soft and like quiet. And then you cozy up with a little hot cocoa. Well, in you my sound case, like me now. In my case, like a rye whiskey or something. And then you just watch like <laughs> The Office or something. The Office? Yeah, have you ever seen The Office? Yes. I, I you didn't seem like you liked it. No, because the camera like goes every which direction really It's a quickly. biography. I get pretty dizzy. That's fair. Take take some uh, not dilated. I can't do it. What's what's the, the motion sickness medicine? Take one of those. Yeah. It, besides the point, but I think yeah. we're doing we're doing something along the lines of, of things that we would recommend yeah. for gifts for Christmas. Right. Right. And we have several things here, and they're just ideas. All right. Now, we could come out of the gate here, you know, a blazing, and you know, trying to give out highly allocated, you know, like the Russell's fifteen. I could say, go get you some Russell's fifteen. You're going to be the talk of Christmas, and you would be. You would be. And you would be. So, if you're able to. And if you're with that person, go get you a BTAC, go get you a Russell's 15, go get you one of the highly allocated bottles that are out there, and you'll be the talk of the day, which maybe, is fine. Maybe one day it'll be that easy to just be like, oh, I'll go pick yeah. up a BTAC from yeah. the store or whatever. Hey, maybe there's some people out there that actually bought one with someone special in mind and, and kept it and held it. If that's you, man, God that'd be, bless that'd you. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah so, that's awesome. We don't have that for you today. No. We have some a little bit more of what we would refer to as realistic ideas for folks like me who go out the last week or two of Christmas and try to buy a few gifts. Well, that too, and like just a little bit of history. When you first got into the whole whiskey thing, I didn't know really what it was at the time. Like I knew what whiskey was, but I didn't know what all you were doing down here. You, you'd mm -hmm. get a couple boxes from Benny's every couple, every so often. And I was just, I didn't know what you were getting right. or what to look out for. So I remember going to Wise Guys and I ended up getting you something that you already had. It was the it was the Bardstown Goodwood collaboration. I remember that. And you're like, oh, I already got this one. I was like, well, I can't return it. <laughs> it I probably is in that. didn't say it that cold. No, you didn't. You know, More you were nice like about it. it, but that that's it turned out that way. So yeah. um, I think some of the things we're going to recommend are things that maybe some folks may not necessarily yeah. have. A little bit minor, a little maybe, bit Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. I'll go first, Trent, Nate. For all of those who might be on a very strict budget, and that's quite a few of us these days, I know this is hard for everybody to watch, maybe. It makes my heart happy. <laughs> but hey, you know, I have to throw roses when they're due. That's, that's just a fact. Anything out of Jim Beam this year that's possibly budget related. I love the Jim Beam 7. I really haven't gotten into this one. Trent just brought it over. Their winter reserve. That's a six year. That's a six year whiskey. Wow. I think Jim Beam has I done think. a fantastic job yep. this year releasing budget style bourbons. All right, minus Booker's. That's not budget, but that's. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm, I'm saying in reference to budget bourbons. I think they've done a fantastic job. They have, really. Uh, there's not too many folks out there, not too many distilleries out there that have put out an excellent $30 bottle. Unfortunately, it's becoming less and less common for distilleries mm -hmm. to come out with something in a core lineup like yeah. this yeah. that is budget friendly. Right. And it's it's a shame, but a lot of the a lot of yeah. distilleries are pumping out those legacy or the the luxury bottles and yeah. stuff and it's pricing I, a lot of people 100% out. percent agree. Yeah. Excellent excellent gift ideas for for low dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got. Well, wait. Are you doing your? Are you doing no, your? No. Go ahead, okay. buddy. Um, Some that's a little bit more on the budget friendly side. I know when we're talking, was it 50, 60 bucks? I think it was forty five bucks. Forty five bucks. Mm -hmm. um, still, 
not I don't know that I would consider 45 50 bucks a, a, a budget bottle. No, not quite, but but if you have a little bit of extra money to spend on somebody that might be interested in in bourbon or whiskey or or, or anything mm -hmm. of that nature, Green River has been pumping out good stuff. Last year they had the weeded for like 35 bucks. That was really solid. Yes. This is really solid. This yes. is 117.3 uh, proof. I don't know if this is batched and there's different proofs, uh, but this is readily available. Really good. I yeah. just had some before the show. Yeah, I Trent and I talked about it a little before the show, the foolproof. I thought it was great. Yeah. I really did. I, I, I am, We're going to talk later whether or not we feel uh -oh. this has an opportunity to get into the tastings for best of the budget category. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe, maybe not. But not allocated, of course. It's good. It's not very allocated. good. For, for yeah. the money, you can't go wrong with yeah. the Green River foolproof. It may or may not make it, but it's in my consideration. It has. I think it has a good shot, actually. Yeah. All right. I gotta go American Single Malt next, guys. I gotta go American Single Malt. I love old line. I really do. I love old line whiskey. This is veteran owned. I believe they're out of Maryland. You can buy their offerings right on their website. I am not positive whether they have certain restrictions on what states they can ship to. That's possible. Very possible. What I have here, I ordered online and they shipped them to me. Uh, I have a Madeira cask here, Trenton. Oh, that's fantastic. Can I try that actually? Absolutely. I, I think love it's this one. I check it out. I don't have a glass. Harvest Moon? Nope, that's this one. This Harvest Moon now, this is a this is a crazy a concoction. The Harvest Moon, Trenton. Mm -hmm. I, I just saw it and I had to get it. This is a combination of Amburana cask and Sherry cask. What? And that's what you if you sipped it, you'd go, what? It's, what I share it a lot too. I don't. I've already tapped into it, but other folks they look at it and go, "Oh my, I gotta have, I gotta try that." The best part of it is they're all relatively reasonably priced, and when I say that, it's gonna be roughly around sixty bucks. There could be some a little higher, some a little lower. They even have a rum that's excellent. Really? Yes, they do. I have a rum that's excellent. That's I think thirty-five dollars or something on their website. So, guys, it's one to look for. I would say most wouldn't have these on their in their collections either, so a good gift idea. Well, since you're going to American Single Malt, I also got to go to American Single Malt, and it wouldn't be a video if we didn't talk about Westward. Um, specifically, they have a they have a whiskey club. It's free to sign up. I don't know if you can like gift it um, if you like enter in somebody else's email and have it oh. sent to them, but it's it's completely free, mm -hmm. um, and then you get access to purchase some of their whiskey club releases and they do three a year maybe mm -hmm. four a year but they just did mm -hmm. like a a sherry finish they did a cognac finish and they do a ton of different stuff and i probably have nine different ones and i have yet to find one that i don't like and i mean it's i think they're about 90 99.99 or 99.95 something like that they do ship but it's the states are restricted so you'd have to go on their website and find out um I can even put like a link in the description to their whiskey club sign up if you want to check that yeah. out. But um, yeah. if you got somebody that likes finishes or single malts or likes American single malts, I mean, yeah. you can't really go wrong with this. Where's that? This one? That's our pick. Oh, joy. that's our barrel pick from this year. Forget about it. <laughs> it is incredibly chocolate. It's, <laughs> it's just fantastic. All of their whiskey. I've, I haven't had anything from westward that i went mm, not my thing i will say i got the opportunity to try the first release they ever did and i believe wow. it was two-year-old whiskey wow it could have it could have used some some definite improvement it was not wow. that not the best youngest whiskey i've ever yeah. tasted but they've wow. come a long way and the stuff yep. that they do is fantastic Great. so definitely check it out Great. i'll put that in the description beautiful thank kyle you. will because i'll forget <laughs> I'm sure, it'll Thanks, be up to, I'm sure it'll be up to Kyle. Remember back in the good old days when you would say all these things and never do it? And yeah. people would poke fun at you? Now you, they can't. Now we have Kyle. Yeah. Thank God for that. We got <laughs> a different scapegoat. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> We're going back to bourbon, guys. This is one that I positive will be in the, the end of the year mix for, for best non-allocated bourbon of the year. Barrel Musinera casks. That's another one I love. Barrel Misenera. 
you're going to spend roughly between 80 and 90 dollars so you're stepping up just a little bit so if you have that favorite uncle or somebody in mind <laughs> that really loves bourbon this is a good option yeah because it is fantastic i loved it when we first tasted it i had a little bit of a retaste when i was procuring my list for this video still very good love it i'll go back to bourbon too i guess there you go um I, are you missing one no i got some of the stuff oh okay here. my bad I would recommend the Penelope. Uh, this is a blend of straight bourbon whiskey and nine-year private select. Mm -hmm. uh, this one in particular is 101.2 proof and it's a four grain. It's about yeah. 90 bucks. So it's a, it's it's getting into the, it's creeping into the $100 territory, but I honestly think this is very good stuff from Penelope. I think this is some of their oldest stuff that came out in the estate collection. Uh, this just released like a month or so ago. It hasn't been long. Um, but these are pretty um, available from what I can tell, at least in our area right now, we could go into any number of liquor stores and pick up a case mm -hmm. of these if we wanted to. Um, so similar to kind of like the barrel one, if you got a favorite uncle or you know, you're looking for a gift for your dad or, or somebody that you really care about and actually like, I honestly think if you got a budget of about a hundred bucks, really any of these you can't go wrong with, but I think the, the Penelope and the barrel yeah. are really kind of leveling yeah. up there with the, with the cost of value. Yeah, we're just trying to throw out different ideas and different budget levels. That's what we're trying to do here today. I'm going to dip into something that's going to shock everybody in our community. I, I, I'm will. shocked. Irish whiskey. Hey, I, I know I've done my share this year of uh, whining about Irish whiskey in general. I just haven't found anything that I that I feel I felt it's getting boring to me. I, I agree. Nothing really new that came out that I would say, I'm going to run out and get that real quick. So I got this the other day, and you know why? This is a hairy thing. Of course These it is. <laughs> Drum Shanbo. Never had it before. This is single pot still, which that is my favorite variety of Irish whiskey is, is pot still. So this is single pot still, triple distill, Drum Shanbo. Now... Harry pulled my attention to it immediately. I went, mm, Irish whiskey. I don't know. I just haven't really been to it this year. He goes, I don't know. You might want to, you know, Harry is. So I did. I, out of courtesy to Harry, I looked and started reading the label because you know how it gets when he gets on a roll, you just got to kind of. Is that the same day you walked up with that 10 year cognac? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because it was, yeah, I, he has these crazy deals. It was like $32. So I figured at least it'll be a good mixer at some yeah. point in time, if it, you know, but. So anyways, I started reading the label and it really drew my attention. Not only does it have its fair share of malted barley and unmalted barley, which is pretty indicative of Irish whiskeys, it also includes oats. Ooh, I so love that oats caught, stuff. Yeah, that caught my eyeball a little bit. Then I read on that the maturation was, was ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks as well, Ooh. which really kind of drew me in, and it was $60. Okay. So the price tag wasn't over the top, and I said, okay, Harry, I'm going to give it a roll. Now, do I feel this bottle will make it into the uh, year-end 2024 whiskeys of the year? Probably not. Not into the tastings, but I was actually energized a little bit into the Irish whiskey scene because this is pretty tasty, especially okay. for 60 bucks. I was happy with the purchase. If somebody that you know is into Irish whiskeys or anything like that, this is a brand new addition to that fold of whiskey. It might be a good idea for a gift. I, I would have never thought you'd have put an Irish in there. I know. That's cool, though. I, it, what's kind of sad is I looked at the label and you said drum, drum shambo, and I was like, huh, that sounds Irish. Yeah, I, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If, I, if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. I know, but I'm pretty sure. They will let you know. I have sure. seen their gin. Oh. They have gin that I've seen on the shelves. Interesting. But I've never had any of their whiskey, so All right. I, I thought it was a solid effort. It wouldn't be a, a video like this if I didn't include a rye or two. Spoiler, the last two I have are ryes. <laughs> but um, probably one of my favorite ones recently is the uh, the New Riff uh, Malted Rye. This is a barrel-proof sherry finish. It's um, spectacular. It's about 60 bucks, and they just put out the second... Second batch, I think. Uh, the first one got released a couple years ago, I think. And that's that's one of the ones I have at home. But I bought two of these. This is a six-year-old product. So it's kind of following that 10, 10 year or a $10 per year kind of a thing. And it's uh, this is a six-year. It's 100% malted barley. So what you need to know is that, or sorry, not malted barley, malted rye. 
So what you need to know going into it is if you have somebody that likes weird stuff, this is really good. The sherry rounds it out really nicely. Oh, even though, like it kicks down that funkiness you might get from a malted rye. The sherry is spectacular in that bottle. It's it's one of the best ryes that I consistently pull when I'm drinking at home or mm -hmm. when, when I got buddies over some we're trying different things. This is one that you cannot go wrong with. Great yeah. price, good age statement, and it's unique. And it's a finish. Absolutely. And barrel proof. I, I can't deny any of that. You can't go wrong with any of that. I have a backup of that. That should tell you that something. That should tell you something right there. All right, guys, I'm going to switch gears just a little bit because not everybody in your family or on your Christmas list is going to be a huge whiskey neat or on the ice person. Fair point. So what I have for you is a couple of ideas for old-fashioned cocktails. I have a couple syrups here that are magical. These are Crown brand. I found these at our Meyer grocery store trend. So it's not oh, like okay. it's hard to find. It was right on the grocery store shelf. This one here is Madagascar vanilla infused maple syrup. And this one here is their barrel aged maple syrup. Both of them are incredible. The textures are silky. It, it really, really lends well into the old fashioned cocktail. It lends a real nice silky texture to the sip and the flavor is just outstanding. It's rich, it's deep. The barrel finishing on that one, Trent, just, just smell it. Can, smell you, it. can you put this on pancakes? Absolutely. I would, yeah, but you bet you can. Ooh, that smells good. What's yeah. the consistency? It's a little bit more on the watery It's side. a little bit more runny. I mean, it's not like you're gonna, you know, it's not, why, wow, dude, I'd bathe in that. It's not log cabin, but. Ooh, what? Ooh. That's, that's kind of <laughs> That's kinda barrel coffee. aged maple syrup. Interesting. It's lovely. I, lovely. I can see that going really well in, a, so, in an old fashion. Anybody in your family right. that, that may not be it's quite in a neat whiskey, whiskey served neat, anything old fashioned, you absolutely cannot go wrong. We okay here, Trent? Yes. You absolutely cannot go wrong with those syrups. Not I, I agree. Easy to find. I'm going to have to pick those up. Ne uh, not next up. Last but not least, we're getting into, you thought this was might have been a little weird. We're going to get into something way more weird. This is the Journeyman Farm Rye. It's an experimental rye whiskey. It's experimental uh, malted rye. Um, this was in the blind that we did for, what month is it? The November live stream. Because uh, we were doing the what were we doing? The rye blind. Yeah, malted rye blind. And this was no, just rye in general. Who put this in? Is it Kent? No, Kent brought his over. The one that's like 155 proof. Yeah. This one in particular is 112.5. So what they have never, a. I would have never guessed that one he had was 150 proof. No, either. that that was like a usually that just puts me on the floor. Yeah. It's just usually like oh that's too much. So as Incredible. it suggests in the title, it is experimental. It is one of the most unique but delicious things I've ever had. The proof mm -hmm. points can vary apparently from like 112 to 155. Only issue is I think these are only available at the distillery in either Valparaiso, Indiana or Three Oaks, Michigan. I don't mm -hmm. believe that they ship on their website. You could take a look and see. But if you have anybody in the area you want to make a special trip, honestly, if I, I mean, I, I love this bottle, so I will yeah. take what I'm about to say with hey, a grain of salt. If I got this, I'd be over the moon about it. Absolutely, and I will say this too. If you have that particular friend or family member who is way knee deep into bourbon and whiskey and have plethora of bottles, that's something they probably would not have or a flavor profile they haven't tasted before. Definitely the flavor profile. Extremely unique. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, this this is probably one of my favorite ones this year, just yeah. because of how unique it is, and it's cool too that it's kind of local to us and everything. Yeah, but it's honestly, awesome. yeah. none of these you can go wrong with. No, not at all. Hey, that's all we got for you today, guys. Uh, you know, Trenton and I and everybody here in the family at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar SLB Drinks wish you the most fantastic holiday season ever. We wish that your you for your family and friends nothing but the very best of holiday cheer. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time right down here with Trent and me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.